As the scriptures say, there was a long war between the house of Saul and the house of David. I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachakwarash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the elect. And I wanted to do a response to this video done by the elder Apostle Gabar. All right. Daily edification for. All right. Yes, it's official. All right. Sakari endorsement on having sex on the Sabbath. And I've already done a video on this topic. All right. But I wanted to go over a few things um, and pretty much through. The word of the Lord, which is sharper than a two-edged sword, the intent and secrets, all right, that are in a man's spirit are exposed. And this is why they're resulting to, you know, tactics, you know, the worldly tactics, you know, pitting one's word against the other, you know, uh, trying to sow discord, you know, putting words in brothers' mouths, okay, and, um, you know, it's interesting that these men, you know, when it comes to bloods and crips and people in the streets, you know, there's this reverence you're supposed to have and this, you know, um, this this uh, respect, you know. But when it comes to the men, you know, that the Lord used to bring them into the truth, you know, and they get cut. Oh, my goodness, the things that comes, you know, out of their mouths, you know, the MFers, B-I-T-C-Hs, you know, and all of these uh, crazy things. And all of this is supposedly over fringes, which, you know, I saw Alazar face to face, you know, um, on his way to do a, a unity camp, which we call Thrunity, okay, with one body in Yahawashai. Now, they don't teach the same thing. One body in Yahawashai, as you can see, they teach all manner of wickedness. But they did a Thrunity camp, and a brother sent the post, you know, hey, you know, they're supposed to be out here. So what I did was uh I know where one body teaches and um you know eventually Alizar walked up and I yelled his name you know and we had been back and forth we've always been back and forth but you know when we saw each other you know we saluted you know I saluted the men with him you know and uh he had that guilty look because he knew it was BS to go teach with one body in Yahawashai who teaches a complete different doctrine than him but nonetheless, I didn't have on fringes that day, right? I didn't have fringes on. They've been knowing that we don't wear fringes all over the earth. Now, we wear our fringes at camp. We wear our fringes, all right, um, if we're doing uh, lessons for the most part. All right, sometimes the spirit may just jump on you, all right? You may be in a particular place where it's not, you know, expedient because as the scriptures say, all things are lawful, and not, but not all things are expedient. Okay, it's not always expedient. It doesn't always edify for people to know what you do, all right, or, or what you believe, all right, as we're behind enemy's lines. However, you know, these guys been knew that we didn't wear our fringes on, on, on every piece of clothing we have, every shirt. So this had to be something deeper, all right, and the way they reacted and, and how, you know, you know, us not having the fringes on, Every shirt made us the worst sinners in Israel. All right. So this was something deeper and it all. All right. Trickles down to the fact that these are the enemies of Yahawashai. All right. And it's coming out. All right. That they don't agree with particular parts of the Bible that don't fit their narrative and agendas. OK. So as much as they try to sit here and say, no, we don't have a problem with the book of Hebrews. We don't have a problem with Paul. It's cl clearly they've said it. And clearly when you go into these things and you see their reactions to it and how they uh, uh, manipulate and play all of these games, it's clear as day that these dudes just ain't right. All right. You don't have to say any more than that. And if you still follow these guys, because, you know, when I said that on this video I did, you know, sex on the Sabbath, but mandatory fringes, which the fringes were surrounding a narrative where a brother picked up a stick on the Sabbath. OK, and he was put to death, stoned. 
So you think that these guys who are so super mighty and high minded in the law would have enough respect for the Heavenly Father to at least keep that day hollow to the best of your ability. Because particular days in our culture are hollowed. But no. Okay. Why? Because as the scriptures say, let's get it real quick. Let's get that in the book of uh, Sirach, the 30th chapter, in the 8th verse. A horse not broken. And if you know the science behind horses, you have to break horses. Okay? Because they'll get proud, all right? And ha won't have any respect, all right? A horse not broken becometh headstrong, and a child left to himself will be willful. And that's all this, this whole sex on the Sabbath thing is, is, is surrounding. And you have many camps that teach this. See, here, here, here it was, you know, we were the worst sinners in the world, but come to find out, you're committing a heavy offense now. The act of sex, which will show you itself is not wicked, okay? Being unclean in particular situations is not a sin or wicked. However, doing those things and trying to enter into holy places or on holy days, are prohibited and it's a clear transgression in our law okay so th th these dudes have you know become willful because no one could tell them they're wrong i mean every situation in camp or organization they've been a part of eventually when they were corrected they, what did they do they they bucked up so they've been left to themselves okay and they're in true need of guidance but one characteristic you notice from these men, and it starts with the leader, Alazar Bunloya, is that they have a true disdain for Israelite male authority to the point where it trickles down to holy men in the scriptures. Okay? They'll mention the Levitical priesthood, okay, as if <laughs> they can keep that priesthood, which we broke that, and that priesthood, you know, read the book of Malachi. Okay, those those priests, that priesthood is done, man. It was a beautiful thing, but we failed. We broke that covenant. All right, but yet they say in the kingdom we're still going to operate under that Levitical priesthood, although we're going to be under the priesthood of Melchizedek themselves. So they'll even attack Yahweh when they say we don't worship him. Any authority under the Most High that is set up, including Yahweh, including Paul, including Peter, because Peter agreed with Paul. They have no problem of saying it's not authority over them. So what does this give them the ability to do? Be willful and do whatever the hell they want to do. And when they were with us, particular things were being corrected. All right. They weren't able to get away with particular things. All right. So what happened? As the scriptures say here. <laughs> all right. Uh, verse 11, give him no liberty in his youth. All right. Now, in around 2010, you know, Alazar came to Great Millstone. You know, maybe he was listening to the truth sometime before that. But we do remember when he first came into the truth, he had all of these traits, had all of this weirdo outside stuff going in the Ginyan gang, you know, which you went to that website. It was nothing but folly, worldly activity. What was he told? Look, these are things that you have to stop. I was in those councils with Alazar. I was in those councils with Deacon Haka before they became these, you know, uh, <laughs> great Israelite celebrities. You know, very, very wicked follies that weren't winked at when they were in Great Millstone. OK, what does it say? Bow down his neck while he was young, young in the truth as well and beat him on the sides while he is a child lest he wax stubborn and be disobedient unto thee and so shall thou bring sorrow into thine heart and when they were in great millstone they were corrected on things and eventually they were like hell nah to the point where they even went to sonnet tv to openly rebuke their, their elders which is clearly against the law clearly against the scriptures all right, you're going to go to the enemy to curse out the men who taught you the truth. So this is deeper than fringes. Fringes were the, you know, thing they tried to use to, you know, put themselves in a, in a position where they keep more laws than us. But it was deeper than the fringes. 
Okay, it's an overall spirit that we have through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua that they do not like, as well as competition. Because remember, Sanetta said we were the best camp, and immediately that's when Deacon Haka went to his Instagram page and posted Apostle Har as a pedophile, which he's done that in times past. But for some reason, he had to do it again after Apostle uh, uh, Tahar or after Son Netter, Frankie, you know, which that all backfired on you, said we were the best camp. Now, it's here, all right? We have the answer because a lot of people were coming to the comment board saying, Sakari don't teach that. Well, now you know Sakari endorses having sex on the Sabbath, and their explanation surrounding it is that they can't find it anywhere in the scriptures where it says it's off or it's a sin using the premise that being unclean in itself because of sex. All right. Doesn't make it a sin. Now that is true in the sense of if you just have sex with your woman, all right, you're unclean until evening. She's unclean. The sheets are unclean. We need salvation at the end of the day. But when you try to enter into holy places is what made that uncleanliness a sin. And the Sabbath day is to be holy. Okay. And this is why we, we bring this out here. All right. First Timothy's one and, <laughs> and seven. Okay. I'll start at. Uh... Whew. And this is what they've never really got. First Timothy is one and five. Now the end of the commandment is charity out of a pure heart. All right. When you're loving your brother, you're fulfilling the law. Okay. It says, and of a good conscience, all right, you're inward man and faith unfeigned. And the scriptures say, not, men, not all men have the faith. It says, for s which some have served, swerved. All right. Let me start over. Verse 6, 1 Timothy 1 and 6, from some, from which some having swerved have turned aside unto vain jangling. Okay? And even the people on their comment boards are, are telling them, look, this ain't edifying, man. All right? We, enough is enough. We Okay, we get it. The great millstone's off. Now what? And Deacon Hakai is so affected because he's been cut. His, You know, they've been exposed. Because what did he just say the other day? All right. We know we do not say that Hebrews is, is not the word of God. Then he'll go and say, well, see, the Apostle Tahar said this here. So ultimately, they're never going to stop. They're always going to find a way to justify themselves. They're always going to figure out some new angle to come. And this is why the scriptures say, you know, uh, uh, discourse with a fool is irksome. All right. It's irksome. And that vain jangling is what you hear when you when you watch these guys. And there's a lot of people waking up. However, people were on a comment board. OK, when brothers were saying they were teaching that it's OK to have sex with on the Sabbath, saying, "Nah, they don't teach that. Well, now you have your answer. Verse seven, desiring to be teachers of the law, understanding neither what they say nor whereof they affirm. All right. They don't have the overall spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So things in spirit, even offending in spirit, because you can sin. All right. Because even when you were uh, where you were uh, confronted. All right. Starting with Great Millstone. We're the ones who called you out about that Passover first. All right. Which I'm just bringing this up for a point. But when you were called out, you said what law says I can't be at the club. All right, you bucked up, you were screaming, you were all in the camera. I'm light and darkness, flickering the light on and off. See, if I'm in the club, I'm the light. While in their darkness, they can come to the light from seeing me. <laughs> right? And you're not wicked for going to the club, per se, right? However, the, 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 the Passover is a holy conv convocation and a Sabbath. So you don't understand the law. Now, dealing with the topic of the Sabbath, what we're going to do is go here, okay? 
And it's simple. I mean, it's not, you know, we already went into it, but, you know, for the purpose of edification. And people don't understand our culture, man. We constantly, when it came to, you know, the, the writings, the law, we constantly repeated and we constantly wrote them down. Okay? So if you have a problem with the fact that these topics keep coming up and we keep expounding on things and pointing things out, you know, that's all. just don't click the video. Okay? That's all. Because we're going to do what the Holy Spirit has set us up to do. Really, this is not us doing these videos. It's the Holy Spirit jumping on us to do these videos. Okay, while they're all caught up in the flesh and trying to, you know, figure out it. Now, now we're saying that Yahweh Shai was a sinner. He put those words out there. You see? Because they're caught out there. <laughs> now, they, they're going to take any and everything they can and go as low as they can go. All right, this is the book of, of Sirach, the 33rd chapter. Okay, and the seventh verse, why doth one day excel another when as all the light of every day of the year is of the sun? By the knowledge of the Lord, they were distinguished and he altered seasons and feast. Some ha have he made high days and hollowed them. All right, because you had a guy <laughs> on this comment board. All right which is a very simple reprobate, but these are the, the type of people they breed, all right? Or he just didn't know, all right? But this was a very simple comment. It says, but the Bible also says be, being fruitful and multiplying is God or good. Yeah, the Bible does say be fruitful and multiply, all right? But upon holy things, all right, even a birth prohibits all right, you from entering into holy places. Why do you think that a woman has the, the purification, okay, process after the child is born? There's an order for if it's a male child. There's an order to if it's a, uh, 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 a woman child. But it's all centered around purification, okay? And as the elder apostle Gabar went into in this, this uh, uh, lesson, the Sabbath is a day where the Lord requires us to be holy. Now, of course, can we keep the Sabbath to the to 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 a hundred percent here in Babylon? The great no, because you technically you're not supposed to work. But these things are coming out because these are the ones who were high-minded in the law and condemning us to death over fringes. We're gonna die over not having fringes on every T-shirt we have. Getting condemned because our T-shirts ain't a hundred percent one. Fabric. That's off, Ock. All right. These are the things they're saying. But then when it comes to the Sabbath, a clear day that is supposed to be hollowed and holy, they're teaching you can profane it. And that's what we're going to go into really quick. OK, so let's go back to the book of Sirach, the 33rd chapter. Speaking of particular days, some of them have he made high days and hollowed them. Hollowed means separate, set apart. Different than just. A regular day something special about this day and some of them have he made ordinary days okay so some of them have he hollowed now when it comes to the sabbath okay let's go to the book of exodus the 20th chapter and let's get to the point all right and we broke down the 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 new moon the six working days and then you end back up on the, the weekly Sabbath. Okay. And this is all about obedience at the end of the day. I mean, yes, you're going to be tempted. All right. The scriptures say Yahweh Shai was tempted, but what made him perfect is that he didn't give in to any of those temptations. All right. Exodus 20 and 11. For in six days, the Lord, as a matter of fact, I'll start at eight and then I'll jump down. Exodus 20 and eight. Okay, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. All right, six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. Okay, and if picking up sticks on the Sabbath is, is considered work, what do you think, all right, getting on all fours and screaming and, 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 and you know, hold, trying to hold yourself up with, with both arms, okay, screaming, moaning, what do you that that ain't work? 
<laughs> now, sex is a beautiful thing. And the union thereof is not a sin itself. Okay? In its purest form. All right? Because you come here in America, we through. But in its purest form, sex is a beautiful thing. But the act of sex, okay, under the first covenant that they're boasting in, made you unclean. So the scriptures say, remember this Sabbath day to keep it holy. We know holy means set apart. Okay? Clear as day for you who don't know. Okay? The word is, let's see here. Let's see here. All right, Kadash. Kadash, all right? Consecrate. So let's look up the word consecrate, okay? Let's get some scholarship in here. To be hallowed, to be holy, to be set apart. To show oneself sacred or majestic. Now, can the act of sex, <laughs> when it comes to holy things, keep you from being majestic or sacred? Yes. The, the previous chapter in, in Exodus, the 19th chapter, when Israel had to present themselves before the Lord, because they asked for the Lord, right? Let us speak to the Lord. All right. Well, there's a little, Moses was like, okay, well, the Lord going to come speak to y'all. We don't want to speak to you, Moses. Let us speak to the Lord. But what were they to do before his appearance? All right. They couldn't come at their wives. Why is that? Anyway, to make or declare something typically a church sacred. So this day, the Sabbath day is to be sacred. Dedicated formally to a religious, religious or divine. Okay, and this is ultimately the natural man cannot receive the things of the spirit, man, because this this should be clear as day. However, again, when a child is left to himself, he becometh willful. And these guys have a deeply rooted hatred for Israelite male authority. It's a deeply rooted issue in a lot of the men in our nation. Okay, now as leaders. We're supposed to, 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 to get our people to get out of that spirit, not promote it. So as the scriptures say, you're making people twice the child of hell they were before they came into the truth. Look at uh, Hassad. Seems to be, all right, a good individual, right? And not good in the sense because we're we all through, right? But I remember meeting him to his face. Seemed to be a cool guy. But listen to him. Listen to what the things he's saying now. Listen to what he agrees with now. Why? Because he can't agree. He can't disagree with the uh, chief priest. That's a law in in Sakari's church. Well, I have the video. You can't disagree with me. So imagine the things he got them men under the impression of. So Hassad, being a, a young minded, new to the truth, about four years in, he doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. Now he knows some scriptures, but in spirit. He needs guidance. The Sakari as, as, a, as a whole, the heads, they need guidance. They need leadership. And they have ran from that the whole time they've been in the truth. Because leadership requires you to be in order. See that? So sacred, we see in, you know, to be devoted. Okay? <laughs> it's supposed to be, you know, the, uh, you know, Consecrated, sanctify, to sanctify. Okay? Now, before we even finish, hallowed, holy. And we said, we just read it. Now, let's go, go to uh, Exodus, the 19th chapter. And we're all bringing out the same points, but hey, why not? When the children of Israel were to present themselves before the Lord, because that's a whole, of course, that's a holy, you know, um, gathering. All right. Exodus 19 and 14. And Moses went down from the mount of the people and sanctified the people and washed their clothes. And he said unto the people, be ready against the third day and come not at your wives. Now, why couldn't they come at their wives before they were presented before the Lord? Well, according to Leviticus, a law. All right. And this is this, this should be simple. man. you know, it, you know, <laughs> 
<laughs> Leviticus 15 and 16. Okay, the chief priest, right? And if any man's seed of copulation, if you bust one off, go out from him. That act alone, all right, makes you unclean. Now, does it? Is it a sin? No, it's not a sin. It makes you unclean for 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 what holy purposes? Now, what was the Sabbath day? What we what were we supposed to do with this? Keep it holy. Now, here in Babylon, the great, you may have to work. Okay, you can't call in every Sabbath. All right. So, we're, we're, we we need mercy, right? But we cannot have sex for one day out of the week. But these dudes talk about how dedicated they are to the Lord, how better they are than everyone because of the fringes, which stem from someone picking up sticks on the Sabbath. Now, do you see the clear contradiction of why these dudes are hypocrites and why, look, look at the end of the day, what else is there to say? <laughs> They're just not right. So there's no more cloak for your sins now. All right. Hey, you, I'm in. I'm into the hip hop and the, and the, and the, and the rap and, the, and the, the the flashy stuff. They sell this. They the Lord don't give a damn about that. Clearly, inward flaws are being exuded. Wicked nigga street behavior is being exuded. But then, if someone curses out whack one hundred, what will, will, will Alazar say? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's a there's a particular uh, 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 respect we gotta have. Let you curse out uh, 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 Larry Hoover or his son, whoever them niggas are, right? What, 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 did they, what would they say? Over the years, they've always had this love and respect and reverence for street niggas. But for the very men who the Lord used to bring them into the truth, the very man, all right, who's responsible for them having that 12 tribes chart, what do they call them, a B, a, a, a mf -a, <laughs> and, and many more things man that's not of the holy spirit to, to act like that now to have a disagreement with a man is one thing to tell a man he's wrong on this is one thing tell somebody they're going off is one thing but the overall nigga behavior you all exude when it comes to the holy things of the lord prove why you would teach this anyway leviticus 15 and 16, if a man's seed of copulation go out from him, then shall he wash all his flesh in water and be unclean until evening. Let's look up the word unclean. <laughs> we have a very pe a peculiar, particular culture, man. These are things Jake didn't know this was in the, the scriptures, but now all of this is being brought up. Everybody's being edified. And on their side... They have, they're presenting people with a false narrative of what we're saying. They're, they're going too far, trying to pit one against the other. And even the, their own followers are like, all right, you've made your point. Nobody being edified by that. Okay? But there are particular people who need that message. Because a lot of Israelites were born to be led to destruction and pay for st stuff they did in a past life. To ma to be unclean, to become unclean and pure, to be gone up unclean, religiously, sexually, ceremonially. Now, the Sabbath is a ceremony for us, right? We're rehearsing the righteous acts. We were told to keep the Sabbath day what? Holy. So after this video and after, you know, the, the fact that these things are going out, these are warnings unto you. Okay, and this is the dude who brings out sinning willfully is not having on fringes. Sinning willfully is not acknowledging Yahawashai, all right, as your sacrifice, as your way back to the Father, man. That's spitting on the cross. Which you say there's other ways to perfection. You can become per uh, perfected by the law, the, the first covenant standard. That's what you all still believe. You got these little young men and women running around here coming, <laughs> really believing that they could stand to the first covenant standards. 
which do, does what? That gives them a mind that they don't really lean up on Yahweh Shai like that. They don't lean on Yahweh Shai like that. Yahweh Shai is just something to say. But the spirit of it and what, what he means for us is not really being expounded upon, but it is through us. And that makes you mad. That's why the high priest, when you, when you they lied on Yahweh Shai, the chief priest, the scribes, the, the, the Pharisees, what did they do? The wicked ones. They, 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 they tried to get, and they were eventually successful. They used the law to say Yahweh Shai was a sinner. So right here, we see that if you bust one off, you're unclean until evening. And every garment and every skin whereupon the seed of copulation shall be washed with water and be unclean until evening. So both the man and the woman are unclean for what? Holy practices. It's not a sin. However, it is a sin when you then try to go and partake in the holy things of the Lord. That's all. Okay? So the, the, clearly we see a contradiction in their doctrine. As we were told here, okay, let's get, uh, where, we, where were we? Go back to Exodus, okay, 19. They, they couldn't come at their wives, okay? Let's see that in the NLT so maybe you can get a clear, more clear understanding of what, what it's saying. Exodus 19. Let's see here. And 14. So Moses went down to the people and he consecrated them for worship. All right. And they washed their clothes. He told them, get ready for the third day. And until then, abstain from having sexual intercourse. Why? Because you will be unclean for that holy practice. And what is the Sabbath? Exodus 20 and 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Jump down to 11. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all them that is in, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Hallowed the Sabbath day. Okay, and we've given you other examples that let you know ultimately entering into a hollow day unclean when you could help it it's just not obedient you just it's, you're off and what does the scripture say James 4 and 17 therefore to him that know it to do good and do it that not to him it is sin okay <laughs> all right Let's get uh, some precepts, man. John 9 and 41. Yahweh Shah said unto them, If ye were blind, ye should have no sin. But now ye say, We see. You watching the videos, therefore your sin remaineth. And they, you got multiple camps teaching this garbage. <laughs> John 15 and 22. If I had not come and spoken unto them, and how is he speaking to you now? Through his men, they had not sinned, but now they have no cloak for their sin. And as we know, we're in a time of judgment. This is the mindset you want to be walking into Jacob's trouble with. Hebrews ain't can't be substantiated. Don't try to lie and switch it up. No, nah, no, we don't have a problem with Paul. No. What's that pastor? I forget that pastor's name. Okay. I mean, we can pull it up. We got the video. Told uh told that dude, you know, pretty much Hebrews is not the word of God. Hebrews is not in line with the laws. See, this shows you they're not in the spirit. <laughs> anyway, you know, I mean, we can go to Exodus 34 as well. Okay. Exodus 34. Okay. And let's see here. I think that's it. Give me one second.
So then they go into the technicalities. Unclean don't make you uh, defiled and this and that, bro. <laughs> Clearly we're saying being unclean in itself isn't a sin. Okay? Now you got all of this other stuff going on. You through. You're, you, you're, you're, you're off in the spirit. You're wrong. And, hey, it's okay. You know, but the good thing about um, this video that Alazar, all right, and um, Hassad did is that they just went into it. They, they went into what they believed. Cool. All right, but your boy, somebody need to stop Deacon. He losing his mind. He went and brought up the the the, the so called Star David, showing you he's 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 losing it. He's up all night looking for this, going back to to pages from <laughs> two thousand nine, bringing up GMS no cowards, which was y'all. <laughs> and boy, oh boy, do you want us to really go back? Uh, Deacon Haka, you want us to go back to those days? You know we know you, right? And you don't honor men repenting for things. So what if we did what you did and brought up what you really were all about and what you came and were doing when you were in Great Millstone? Okay, things not even wicked two-third niggas would do. Some of them would, but, you know, certain there's certain shit people in Israel do that even wicked Jake wouldn't think about doing. And yeah, you all you all were doing that type of stuff. But, you know, let's keep it classy. Okay? You repent it, right? Isaiah 58 and 13. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day. Now, this is in the law. Oh, my God. See, this is their thing. It's not in the law of Moses, so I can't tell you. I can't bind you to that. The whole book is the law. But clearly in the law of Moses, if you put two and two together, duh. <laughs> you, 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 you're purposely making yourself unclean for a holy day. Okay. For a holy purpose, a hollow set apart day. And you're tempted. You see, you're like, do you feel that, you know, at the tip? You're like, man. All right, but you have to practice what? Obedience. And Yahweh Shai did that. Yahweh Shai was tempted in the same ways we were tempted. And yet, what? Never fell into those temptations, man. That's what made him perfect. Isaiah 58 and 13, if thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of Yahweh, all right, honorable, and shall honor him in not doing thine own ways, nor finding thine own pleasure, would IUIC say. So, so I can't eat ice cream. Ice cream is pleasurable to me. <laughs> Ice cream in the Bible does not make you unclean, brother. This is always saying sex does for holy purposes. What is the Sabbath day? Holy. Hallowed. Okay. Pleasure. All right. See here. Chapataza. Uh, delight, pleasure. And you don't have no delight. All right. And in the, in the, in the, especially the, the finishing side of sex. That, that orgasm is not a delight. Ain't that acceptable? Okay. There's only two times <laughs> in, 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 in people's lives where they're never angry. When you're receiving money, okay, unless it's less than what you are old or whatever, and when you when you busting one off, all right, how can you be angry in those in, the, in that in that that is a pleasurable moment, okay? Think about the council in the heavens when because the Lord was like, look, we have to keep human beings coming onto the earth. 
All right? So we're going to make the most pleasurable feeling and tie it to reproduction so that people can keep doing it. <laughs> and that which once takes delight. Okay? We're going to go down to the uh, lexicon and show all pleasure that which one takes delight, his business. What, what, what you and your woman do is what? Your business. Okay? <laughs> uh, matter, very late. The good pleasure. Everything in which she delighted. All right, you you you. That's a pleasure. That's that's pleasure. Not only is it pleasure, it's pleasure that makes you unclean. So if it's the Sabbath day, you're gonna purposely make yourself unclean in the midst of the the all of everything else. You may be working, and you're gonna get. Come on, bro. So we made our point. You know, I mean, they're gonna say what they're gonna say. All right, we're gonna keep it. Uh, we're going to keep it scriptural, you know. A psalm for the Sabbath day. Psalms 92. Interesting. Read Psalms 92. Okay, it's a psalm for the, the, the Sabbath day, you know. I guess it's, it was the Sabbath day and he... He wrote this particular song. All right. So, you know, and what is Jake going to say? It, ain't it good? To, ain't, ain't, it, ain't it lawful to do good on the Sabbath, brother? <laughs> ain't it lawful to do good on the Sabbath, brother? Well, with the information through the Holy Spirit that we've just given you today, you be the judge. Okay? Is it in the Bible that you can defile the Sabbath by having sex and become unhallowed? Absolutely. You can make the argument we're all through. We all do need salvation. You know, none of us are sitting on a high horse. But this is just to show the hypocrisy. And this all started over fringes, which are a result of a story dealing with breaking the Sabbath. You, you see how crazy Jake is? Give me one second here. Crazy as, as hell, man. It won't stop. And they're doing all of this uh, other stuff to take away from the fact, look, they've been put out there Clearly, they, 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 this dude, they're all over the place, okay? And it's not just divine pro prospect that they're getting information from. See, this is why we told you all, stop going over there to Sarnetter. You became defiled. <laughs> you, you, you became high-minded. You lost your damn mind. Tossed to and fro, Ephesians 4 and 14. And, yeah... Uh, divine pros prospect ain't the only one okay that uh, the only Torah only cat now divine prospect believes in a Messiah but from the standpoint of the Old Testament only okay he, he says that the New Testament okay uh, is oppressive to black women okay he doesn't he, he's not you know, if you call that belief in the New Testament then whatever Jean Baptiste all right. He 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 speaks down on the New Testament, but he ain't the only one. There's particular Torah only cats that deny the Messiah that you've uh, uh, done so-called debates. But during the debate, what were you doing? Agreeing with him. But the angels know. The angels know. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai knows the inward man. So all we have to do at this point though we'll edify on particular things, is watch judgment come to these men. So I, I, um, I uh, exhort 
you brothers who have sense, who are amongst them, okay, to leave. Okay? All right, like the brothers who, you know, you have particular brothers who after that Passover thing woke up through listening to our videos and come listen to us all the time. Who are in the right spirit. So there, there's great, great fruit amongst the Sakari, but right now they're being misled. And you could look in their eyes and tell that they're appreciative of the, the, the Holy Spirit awakening them and getting them from, from around those cats. Ephesians 4 and 14, that we henceforth be no more children. That's a childish thing you all are doing. See, you're running with these false narratives, going too far, put, and, 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 and you think that it's because it's a victory in the flesh because somebody on the comment board believes the bullshit that you're all, somehow going to win. But, brother, I'm telling you, this is all happening for judgment. So we shouldn't be any more children. And that's what all Alazar is, is a big, gigantic child okay he, he is in no way fit to lead he hasn't even conquered the, the 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 necessities of being a leader okay humility order You don't even have the first things down. So what, what are you doing? Well, again, the Lord raised you up. All right? Along with that loser, <laughs> Deacon Haka. Okay? And he's allowed you all to become these, these famous Israel. You, and you're, you're clearly using the, script, the, the scriptures to make money. I can't put videos on YouTube no more. So here's my Patreon. What, what, what about Odyssey? What about BitChute? What about Rumble? Cre create a website and, 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 and ultimately put the videos up there. You got the means. Shit, hell, Horace Grant could shoot you the money for that. Or Jagged Edge, the, the Jagged Edge cat, which these are just props. They ain't doing the work. They're just something to point to and say, look, look who we got in our camp. Show us Jagged Edge videos. That nigga is on tour right now. I guarantee you. He ain't doing a way. Is he doing videos in between concerts? Hey, hey, prove us wrong. Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong, but I'm speaking through the spirit. I don't believe so. Probably don't even follow you no more. Everybody's not a teacher. What is the purpose of coming into this truth? If you, especially if you're going to join a camp, to be you're, you're being made a leader to teach the word. Now everybody has their own lot amongst the body. Okay, but even those brothers who who are helps, they 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 teach what, what they have. Anyway, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. Okay, and you, you all had Horace Grant at your Passover, all right? He was, he was partaking of, a, of, a, of, of sin, He, he, I bet you Horace was like, this ain't no different than, than when we and Mike won, won championships together. This is just like going into the locker room, popping, but it's the same shit. Anyway, I rest my case. You know, the, the bottom line, you know, is uh, check out Apostle Tahar's video. It's official. All right. The Sakari endorse having sex on the Sabbath. Why? Because it's not in the 613 laws not to. It got to say don't have sex on the Sabbath. 
But this is a scholar. These are scholars, masters in the law, right? Through. So hopefully I'll edify on to the next. Shalom.